It is time once again to look at more Lorcana cards. We've already checked out the first deck, which if you haven't checked that out, go watch this video right now. It's a lot of fun. And now we're diving into the second set, Rise of the Floodborne. And let me tell y'all something, there are some gems here. Let's go check it out. I love this one with Christopher Robin. It just looks like they're off on a grand adventure. Is that owl up there in the top? I don't know. I know this is one of the more traditional cards that you might expect, but something about it just sings and I love it. I love this card so much seeing Cobra Bubbles in his office and it looks just too cramped for him like this is not the job this man is supposed to have. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this Eudora. But this just feels like a dream. It's so dreamlike and just ribbon floating everywhere and like she's living her dream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Sitting in his trophy room with his big old gloves, just like, yes, I am amazing. This, this might be the perfect Gaston card. Oh my gosh, this Mulan, y'all. The ornate dress that she's wearing, the staff, the assured look and the lighting, it just the background, just, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like armor mixed with a beautiful dress. It's a perfect combination of who she is. Oh, this Mulan is great too. I like the other one better, but this one is still beautiful. I love how her dress is like just floating in the wind. And she's got the cherry blossom petals all around her. This is like the most elegant Mulan. I, just, I, I gotta give a shout to Nana right here. She's like, yeah, I'm a dog. Name's Nana. I run this place. What of it? <laughs> oh, Piglet looks so cute. Oh, this Rapunzel is so good, you guys. Kind of like Gaston. I can't think of a better way to describe Rapunzel. She's artsy. She's resourceful, ingenuitive, and she's also magical. Look at all this paint. This is the most magical paint I've ever seen. Where do you buy magic paint? I didn't see that last time I was at Michael's. And it's so well done. I, I was just said, I don't know how you're gonna make a better Rapunzel card, but this one gives it a run for its money. The sunbeams emanating from her hair as the lanterns are floating around her. She just is like, yeah, it's a Tuesday. What of it? <laughs> I love the lighting in this shot and the colors. Okay, okay. I, I like this new outfit Snow White's got going on. All right. Ooh, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for the villain cards, especially ones that have magic all around them. So obviously I'm gonna love this one with the queen. Just, just look at that. Just powerful and regal and just all evil magical eagle. <sighs> oh, I love this angle with Raya and Namari. Just like, oh, that's such a good angle. <laughs> I like painting the roses red. I love all the goopy, I love all the goopy paint. Ooh, I like the zero to hero card. Oh man, I, I I would have this on my wall. If you if you had like a painting of this and gave it to me, I would put this on my wall. Oh, oh, Wizard Arthur. I didn't know I wanted Wizard Arthur, but now I want Wizard Arthur. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the blue fairy for Pinocchio. The star magic is just emanating from her. Uh, that's so good. <laughs> Chip the teacup is making me making me laugh right there. Oh, I like the pastel -y look of this one as Dr. Facilier is looking to make a deal. I don't think there's been a single Dr. Facilier one I've skipped in these just because every time they draw him, they just get something so right. Okay, I like the angle of the, I love the angle of the, the, the horse here and I love the, the tagline gloves off because yeah she's she's not holding back anymore she's letting it go ah, I love the swirly magic you guys are learning a weakness of mine I love the swirly magic there's so much swirly magic ah! <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't expecting this hardcore fairy godmother with a giant sword and I love it so much it's so cool I didn't know I wanted Fairy Godmother in Lord of the Rings, but now I'm like, yeah, can we make a stop past Rivendell by the by the by the pumpkin patch? We gotta talk to somebody before we go all the way to Mountain Doom. Just yes! Now, this, this is stuff I wanna see like in Kingdom Hearts. Give me this! And I love this fairy godmother too. Not quite as much as the other ones, but it's still really cool. I love the angle that she's got and the pumpkin getting bigger and of course the swirly magic. Oh my gosh! What if Hey Hey was Articuno? <laughs> No, seriously, they took Hey Hey and made him like this magical bird god. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love 
Little Jiminy's face and him in the sun. Oh, that's so good. And I just love, at first I thought he was freaking out about the fact that he's around plants until I saw that there's the Yzma tent in the back. But yeah, I could see him freaking out about the fact, oh, there's plants. I like the angle of Madame Mim Purple Dragon. She's like, I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> oh! This looks sick! That's the coolest Madame Mim I've ever seen! And you can like see most of her transformations behind her, like when she turned into the, the beautiful lady, the look how pretty, look how pretty, look how pretty. And then like the dragon and the cat, just ah! This is so cool! Disney, more of this! I like the snake angle, she's like ah! Little detail I love in the crab one, you can see Mim's shadow as a snake right in front, cause that's when she was a snake, that's what he was trying to do, was trying to get her with the crab. Yes, more magical swirlies! <laughs> Oh, and I just noticed all of the magical swirlies around him are animals that he turned into in Sword in the Stone. Yes. Thumbs up for magical swirlies. Y'all, look at this. If you were told, you know, make a card about Peter Pan's shadow, you would probably try to draw that scene from the beginning of the movie that was just in the darling's bedroom and just put the shadow. Not this bioluminescent tunnel. This is Gorgeous! Oh, I like the angle of Pinocchio here in his face. Oh, I love the action shot of him as a partial donkey. Even with the lightning behind him and the waves crashing, he's still trying to get to Geppetto. And look at all the cool like colors they put in the water. It's just so unique and creative and I love it. This one, this one. This one might be the best card, period. Wizard Winnie the Pooh with not just magical swirlies, magical honey swirlies. If you came up with this idea and you did the artwork for this card and you are watching this video, please reach out to me. I would love to meet you in person and shake your hand. That is amazing. So you have come seeking my honey knowledge. Well, for a small smackerel of honey, I would be happy to oblige. But I don't even know what the word oblige means. Yet. And I love even in the honey wiz even in the tagline for Winnie the Pooh Honey Wizard, they spelt it the way he would spell it. Yes, it's this card is perfect. Oh my gosh, this Isma! It's it's another one that just perfectly captures everything about Isma. And then we then we take a sharp detour. De ah! What did y'all do to Madame Mam between the other one and this one? I've always thought Madame Mim was okay. I have never thought she was like a great villain or something, but the way y'all draw her, I think she was like the coolest villain who ever lived. This is amazing. Someone out there doing Lorcana art loves Madame Mim and I am here for it. Let me tell you, I'm here for it. Oh, poor Pooh, he's stuck. Ooh, I like the, the fire around the sword. That is just so, oh, that's cool. Arthur's playing D&D now, shoot. I'd play as him. Why I gotta make everyone with Sword in the Stone so epic? This is awesome! Oh! That's the most epic beast shot. The, the angle of his hands, the lightning bolt, because you know he's not out for blood. He's out to defend Belle. And you're like, yes! Go for it, beast! Go do it, man! Like the polar opposite of the one we just looked at, but this is so calm and serene and I love it. It's so, it's so Belle. Okay, Belle's Legolas now! I, she looks so cool! This is so cool! And there's there's roses at the end of her, of her bows and arrows! I can't get over it! Why does Belle fit as an archer so well? I never would have thought that, but I see it, and I'm like, yeah, of course she's an archer. It just makes sense. Oh, y'all, this was clever! This was so clever! Having the tree, like, hint of the Cheshire Cat being there, and you're like, is he really there, or is that just the tree? You never know, because it's a Cheshire Cat. Disney, your artists who are working on this, yeah, let them make their own show or movie or something. I would love so much of this. This is incredible. And now you did the reverse. You did the reverse of that. Now Treasure Cat just is the tree in the bushes. This is so dang cool. Oh, okay. Daisy Ducks going all magical to spell on us. All right. We see a facilier card. We stop and appreciate the awesomeness that is there. The cards are coffins. The cards are coffins, y'all. And the last Hiding from below, it's perfect! I love it! Man, when the rest of Disney is having some troubles, let the Lorcana people do their jobs, and that's the best part about Disney I've seen lately. 
even the Enchantress from Beauty and the Beast. We've only seen her as a stained glass picture, but now I want her as a fully fledged character. I want like a spinoff. Who's the Enchantress? Everything is that's so good. And now Flynn is gonna be part of the same D&D campaign that uh, Arthur was in earlier. And now he's gonna be the lovable rogue. He would be on my team and we would be using him to get in everywhere. He'd be the thief that could charm his way out of anything. Just yes. They made little John blue, even though he kind of already is blue. But still, little John is blue. We're getting it even more confirmed now. Oh, I love Lucifer here. Cause there's like this red overtone to the whole thing. I can't tell if that's just, he's under like a red table cloth which is probably what it is but it could also be seen as like like nebulous red space and it's almost like the mice see themselves on like this desolate planet with a red sky always being stopped by lucifer it could go either way which is what i love when art does it suggests something but it's never so strict about like it it, it, it could be that it could be that i don't know <gasps> pete yay pete never gets a lot of attention but i love pete <laughs> um, and i love his design here he definitely has that frenemy thing going on because you can tell He's a bad guy, but he still has such a softness to him that I really love. I love his like frenemy dynamic with Mickey. I really do. Prince John! Yes, the greediest of all. That is an amazing one. Oh, that's so good. I guess this would also be, what if Prince John won? He'd probably go and do all that and make sure that King Richard would never come back. Radigan, are you kidding me? Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Another one for a perfect card to encapsulate everything about a character. Ray! Oh my gosh, and I love the lighting, how all the light's coming from his butt, and it's only getting a little bit on. Oh, I love Ray. Of course, we got the magical swirlies with Tiana too, so we gotta give some love to the magical swirlies and Tiana. It's, it's, ah. The lighting and the color here, it's all very impressionistic, which I really appreciate. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. How? How, 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 how? The dress transformation scene in Cinderella might be one of the most magical enchanting moments in Disney's history. How did you make it more enchanting? Oh, I love bounce. <laughs> oh, I love how they changed the color of the background to match Ka's eyes as if you are in the trance right now. That's so good. Oh, it took me a second to see what was going on in this one. I, I totally missed the Jaguars at first. I'm like, what's with all these weird jagged rocks? Oh wait, no, they're Jaguar! <laughs> oh, ring the bell. Yeah, as, as Radigan's ringing the bell and Felicia's coming up to eat the mouse. I forget his name, isn't like Bartholomew or something? <gasps> blue! I just said we didn't have a blue card, but we do have a blue card! Woo! I'm surprised he's not doing something from Robin Hood. <laughs> Ooh, I love this angle of Boone as he's like captaining the ship and trying to give you uh, some kanji. Okay, so Felicia's back and they've basically turned her into an oliphant from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and that weirdly fits. They have this big old tower on her back and they're luring her with the, with the robotic toy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Honest John seems more devious than usual. And where, where is he? Is this like the mines where they send the boys after they turn into donkeys or something? I don't know. Is that like lava or something? I don't know. I don't even know where he is. Is this like the Mr. Toad's wild ride version of hell or something? Cause that's actually a really cool piece of lore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another one that might be the perfect Lady Tremaine card. I think I, I, I'm not quite as confident as the other one saying that, but if this is not the perfect Lady Tremaine card, it's like in the top two or three. Okay, okay, firebending Lumiere. Just throw him an avatar now. Firebending Lumiere. Didn't know I wanted that till just now. Oh, I love all the like action lines around her as she's zipping around on her scooter. Oh. The way they did Mother Gothel here. I got Gollum vibes for a second. Maybe it's just how big her eyes are compared to the rest of her like sunken in face. But I was like, oh, okay, don't let her near me. Oh, 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 oh. Mulan is ready to go. Ooh, Namari. Oh, I love like the motion blur on her legs and her, oh. Like, and, and then the, the, the leaves around her, like she's going so fast, it's just, oh, oh. I'm not the biggest Rai in The Last Dragon fan, but even I can sit here and go like, this card is amazing. That's amazing. That's, that is, once again, probably one of those perfect cards for Queen of Hearts. 
it captures everything about her. Okay. Just the angle of Radican here makes me think like Batty from a 90s like Saturday morning cartoon. And I mean that in the best possible way. Oh, this Raya though, this Raya though. I see all the men running behind her going one way and she's going the other. She is always going against the grain. And now you got Raya standing heroically in front of the sunset. Just, yes. Oh my gosh, all this scar. Ooh, I like stealthy Shere Khan. Ah, I have found my next victim. <laughs> Tigger's so cute there. I'm one of a kind. <laughs> Cause there's only one Tigger and the Tigger is me. Oh, I love we got Tuk Tuk in like mid roll, but <laughs> wrecking ball. I'm sorry, that just makes me think of, I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, I like the juxtaposition of Radigan looking all regal and everything on the outside, but inside his shadow reveals it all. Look at the lighting on this one, you guys. Look at that, look at that. It's like they're flying over a pool of magical wonderment and it's just emanating off of it. Oh, it's so good. There's so much ingenuity in this. I love it. It's like after Basil went and did everything he did in The Great Mouse Detective, just became like this steampunk inventor. I could totally see him doing that. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. I don't know why he's playing a saxophone, but it works and I'm here for it. It's like I'm laughing because it seems weird, but as I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, no, he totally plays a sax, but, but it feels so weird to say. Oh, <gasps> they made Cogsworth an actual grandfather clock going gray. Just, just you took a pun and made it into reality. Yes. Yes, we live for that on this channel. Ooh, Cogsworth is all ominous here. <laughs> he was the sweet grandfather a second ago, but now he's the stern parent who's gonna tell you what's up. Oh, I like this Cruella. Her design here almost reminds me of the 101 Dalmatians cartoon from the 90s. Yeah, that's good. We may have found another one of those perfect cards. I can't think of a better way to show Cruella DeVille except having her in spots. That'd be the only thing to be different, but I don't want her in spots because then that means she won and she got the Dalmatians. I don't want that, but it even, it even has hints of little swirly magics in the back. We don't need the magic swirlies, but they're always appreciated. Perfectly wretched. That's the best way I can describe it. It is perfectly wretched. <laughs> yes! Yes, Tom's chalk drawings in the back! It's like, remember Steampunk now from the first set of cards? It's like well, she likes steampunk, huh? Look at these cool plants. <laughs> Try to impress Belle. <laughs> Grandpappy's getting an epic card. Like most people's least favorite part of Frozen. And you're making this one of the most epic cards with, with him having magic swirlies too. There's just so many things in this deck that are either like the best thing I've ever seen, the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it still works. I just, I'm. This deck might be my all-time favorite. We have to see the third deck first, but I already love it more than the first deck. Ooh, I like Flabbersham here. Oh, that's cool. And he's like experimenting with, oh, that's cool. And I love the lighting. It's so good. <laughs> I like Noi here. Ooh, Owl with like an invention or something. That seems, that seems very Owl. I like the ingenuity there. Okay, okay, okay. You're ever giving Prince Charming the magical swirlies. I'm not mad, because I love the magical swirlies. I just wasn't expecting it. And I feel like I was just giving everybody magical swirlies, and I should be upset about that, because you need to earn your magical swirlies, but the magical swirlies are really cool here. Even though they're little, it's really cool. Dang it, that's cool. I like the angle of Sisu here, as she's like stepping on the raindrops uh, running through the sky. That's really cool. Ooh, the way the, the the ice and water are falling off the knock here, or nook, I don't know how to say it. The water spirit. Just, you're getting me with the magical swirlies and you put them around Pooh Bear. It's like his thoughts almost become magical because he has such pure and innocent thoughts that they just brightens anyone's days like magic. <laughs> We're getting all the Gaston cards today. I love the four dozen. I love this angle as you're like up at the top of the eggs while he's like juggling the eggs for four dozen. Because Gaston is just winning this day. The eye, the giant eyes, he's trying to look in to see what that looks like. To him. I like the gumbo pot here. So you see all the ingredients like up in the up in the, the steam as it's leaving. You even put the swirlies around the popsicles. I love the magical swirlies. Y'all made beast gargoyle. Y'all made the beast a gargoyle. You you guys know where I have to go now, don't you? Ow, 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 ow.
Just imagine the beast with Goliath up there. Ah, it'd be amazing! Oh, beast as he's watching Bell go. Oh, that emotion he had. Oh, that expression. Oh, oh. Ooh, Chief Benja. Ooh, the, the power behind you. Oh, gosh, okay. Hey, okay. Cinderella is gonna be joining us on that D&D campaign with Arthur and Belle now. And she's gonna be our swordsman, and I'm here for it. Why does Cinderella work like that? Why does she work as a swordsman? That fits her so well. That fits her even more now. She's full on night. That's so cool. Ah, oh, it's just got all the magical sweaties. I love Big Daddy LaBeouf in this one. I love the way the lighting hits him. It's very godfathery, but instead of like having a stern expression, he's got a big old smile. Oh my gosh, that's that's so good. Is this Thor Hercules again? Has Thor Hercules returned? But this time, he has put down his electricity to just to show us his pure raw strength. Oh! Snake Differ! As he's still the titan he was from before, but now he is a full-on snake with like metal down his oh, down his body and like oh, what's the, what's the, the design around his hood? Oh, and the, the, the camel's getting scared. It's like the camel we saw earlier. It's like a continuing story. Yes, Jafar, you look so menacing and you've got the evil magical smileys. Even though it's more like electricity looking, but still, it's still really cool. <laughs> we've got Krog the Junior Chipmunk. He looks so serious. All right, we've got a job to do, Bucky. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, they ha I guess they were they up. Did they have to make sure they got one with Shang without a shirt on? It's like, well, we had that whole thing in the movie. We gotta have at least one with him without a shirt. Yep, that that about sums it up. Whoa, it's like a futuristic magic broom from Fantasia. Oh, oh, that's that's clever. Oh, we got another Namari, and it's the, the lights behind her. She's like, give up the dragon, Jim Mariah. Oh, 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 that angle of the Queen of Hearts. Oh, she's mad now. You're gonna lose your head. Ooh, I like Robin Hood getting weapon upgrades and armor upgrades. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. First Prince Charming. Now you got me going over here going like, oh no, the prince is actually a super cool character. He said like four lines. But I look at this going like, oh yeah, the prince was one of the coolest characters in the movie. He said like four lines. Oh man, that just looks incredible. Just so incredible. Tiana at, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming, uh, Masquerade Ball. Oh my gosh, is this what Tiana would have gone to at the Masquerade Ball if she was already with Naveen at the time? Oh my gosh, that's cool. I mean... Let the storm rage on. We got more of the magical swirlies. I gotta take a second and appreciate the magical swirlies. Oh, Rick and Ralph, and he's like punching right at you. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. I love that the wall that he breaks is it's pixely. It's pixely. Oh, the strength of a raging fire. Oh, that made me go full Jack Black there. Oh, they're winning me over on these princesses, y'all. The whole background is giving me Rivendell vibes. I'm like, okay, okay, Galadriel. Are you Galadriel or Cinderella? This is epic. And then Snow White. Snow White's got her epic shot. Just Oh, it's so good. Okay, Arthur, you have to be on my D&D team now, bro. You have to. Look at this. Look at this. It's look at this. Ah, magic mim. And she looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is. Oh. Sword in the Stone fans, y'all are eating well right now. Y'all are eating well. Ah, beats back. I love the angle. He's like, now listen, you yardstick. Oh, beast leaping at you in the middle of the rain, sir. Oh, and there's that amazing Lady Tremaine again, but the enchanted version, it's so good. Oh, oh, the sheer con, the cunning on its face, the claws out, everything, just yes. And Alice is stuck in the house, yes. Ooh, I like the colors here, okay. Thor Hercules is back. Yes! Ooh! All oh, that Namari is creepy and I like it. <laughs> that's so good! Especially I love the cat. But like the big old fangs coming up from the bottom jaw. Oh, that's so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, there is a third set I have not looked at yet. So be ready for that. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Bye! And big thank you to all of my Patreons. Without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. Thank you so much.